Yo guys, Beast, back with some obviously content. So this is going to be things you need to do to get stacked while we wait for this next part of the expedition to drop. So, first things first, I'm going to say you're going to want to go ahead and get your own portal base. Due to the fact that we are stuck on Phase 5 and we now do have access to the base computer, we are going to be able to build our own bases. This will allow us to build our own portal bases. When you build your own portal base, whenever you use a portal, you will actually not have to worry about cost anymore of charging the portal all you have to do is enter in your glyphs go where you want to go return and be happy this is why people boil portal bases this is going to be a simple design is this going to be a public portal base i actually think it's located in one of the uh, base systems when you first start off the expedition so if anyone runs into this uh first of all subscribe to gotcha beast like the name of it says and secondly we're going to be installing a teleport receiver so this is another thing you're going to want to do this will give you access to your inventory while you're away from your ship what you're going to want to do is smelt down some carbon into some condensed carbon the next thing i actually began working on was building out my base but you're also going to be needing something else which we will be talking about in just a minute i ended up just using some of the new decorations i also pulled out the exotic decorations i ran into on shattered worlds uh that we will be using in this as well i also kind of like scaled some of them down larger than the others and just wanted to do a general design there i also wanted to be using the pure ferrite cubes so the next thing we did was actually head to space we went to a step base station the next thing we're going to need is some wiring looms i don't remember the exact ingredients but i know carbon being turned into co and dense carbon was the main ingredient for antimatter as a matter of fact it may have been the only ingredient the next thing you need is wiring looms which are sold at any galactic terminal and any space station so get to a space station go buy yourself some wiring looms as you can see here 103 are available here uh, i went ahead and just bought four four now i honest actually oh yeah we bought some pure ferrite here as well pure fire it's also a very common thing however i have a better method for getting a bunch of pure ferrite right here this is going to be a refiner recipe if you're wondering why they give you a thousand activated indium this is why a thousand activated indium and 700 ferrite will do about two rounds of magnetized ferrite in here in about three minutes that's going to be about 10, or that's going to be almost a 999 stack of magnetized ferrite, which will convert into roughly a two stack of pure ferrite. This is super duper easy pure ferrite for all your base building needs. I did use one that used a lot of pure ferrite today. However, uh, that is okay. We actually have to do this twice, but is a pretty good, and I mean two different times. This is what I mean. Not twice. We did it like three or four times, so you know what I'm saying. But <clears throat> this is my favorite way. Of obtaining a whole ton of pure ferrite for very large base builds as we are doing our entire floor in what is going to cost 100 pure ferrite for per piece of floor it is going to take a decent amount of it however i did want to use that material i haven't done a portal base like this before using this material we're not going to be putting a roof on it or anything today i didn't even buy doors uh, and also these rooms here are replenishable carbon farms that means every single time that you use a teleporter to get to your freighter you will actually be able to harvest them over and over again as well as harvest them on other freighters when you discover them we will be covering a freighter farm in just a little bit this freighter farm is going to be in infinite freighter storage as well as uh an infinite amount of time to farm for an s-class freighter every single time you load to your freighter we'll get on into that in a minute we also went to our storage containers i highly suggest getting these built you're just going to need some sodium if you need a recipe for sodium i do believe it's ionized cobalt and sodium oh no actually i think it's like sodium and oxygen i think oxygen and sodium together will make sodium nitrate which sodium nitrate can then be smelted down into doubling your sodium i think i covered this in a previous video but anywho so the next thing we did actually was begin to work on our base once again uh these are cuboid rooms they are made out of 100 pure ferrite what we are going to be doing here actually is taking one and we're going to place it down and then we're going to use the snapping mode and placing another one underneath it and then we are going to continue building the floor from the one underneath it and we'll be able to delete the one on top allowing for this to be pushed into the portal as best as possible i could have done it a little better the portal could have been a little bit easier to access however you are able to enter and exit the portal as you are needed i also did do some work on the teleporter meaning you no longer teleport inside of these squares uh, i also used the exotic decorations that i was talking about earlier that are obtainable from shattered worlds we also found this new multi-tool that i think i'm gonna have to do a video over because i just absolutely love it as a matter of fact i think i've gotten one similar to this i don't know why people don't talk about alien multi-tools more uh, especially due to the fact that there's like multiple types of multi-tools but people only want to use one multi-tool for some reason i'll also mention for some reason the community uh counter thingy is also back finally that's pretty interesting uh but 
28%. Also, I mentioned it's been going up like 1% every 30 minutes just today, and supposedly tomorrow's when the counter ends, so we'll find out. But uh, the next thing I did is go to some minor settlements. You can do this using the uh, maps. If you didn't know, at the space station, there are going to be these this guy who will be selling maps. He's a third guy uh, from the left of the Galactic Trade Terminal. He will be the cartographer. He is selling a handful of maps. The purple looking map with the purple icon on it is actually gonna be used for finding monoliths. Monoliths are gonna be used for finding portals. In order to make the monoliths find your portal, you will need a relic. In order to get a relic, all you need to do is summon your freighter in space, go to your freighter and sit there and wait for a starship vendor to land. Every single starship vendor will be selling that systems type of thing. So as you can see here, we ran into a pirate battle finally. So when you run into one of these, what I always do and what you need to do is summon your freighter in this system. That way, anytime you warp back to your freighter in this system, it will automatically re-trigger the freighter quest and re-summon a new freighter, meaning that you could get an S-Class freighter, but also when you do not get an S-Class freighter, it will be about 250 nanites, some gold, uh, a freighter cargo storage container, as well as some other awesome things. It is super duper easy to max out your freighter storage and it's also an s-class freighter farm so if you feel like testing your luck on getting an s-class freighter just warp to your freighter do know if you move your freighter at any point you will lose that warp point and you will have to wait for another pirate battle in order to have a warp point to a chance of an s-class freighter but besides that it's just a portal away from the chance of an s-class freighter this way super duper simple you don't even need a teleporter on your own freighter however if you have a space teleporter on your freighter you will be able to teleport off of your freighter after you are done, which will allow you to teleport somewhere else and then come back. The next thing we did was go get some salvage data from a minor settlement. Once again, that's the best place to just get some quick salvage data where we would be buying a fuel source for our portal. You need a fuel source if you want a portal at your base and you're gonna need it fueled. I should have bought solar panels and a battery when I had more salvage data, but I did not. I wasted it on decorations and other items I didn't even use in this video, but that is okay. Uh, so. The next thing we did, of course, was begin the power of this thing, which it used a lot of bio generators. I actually did just a little test run here for a second before building them all under the glass. Uh, these will all be accessible through the glass, so if you ever need to use this and you want to use the portal here, you will just have to charge enough carbon into enough furnaces uh, through the glass. It's a little finicky to do, but it is super possible and super simple to do. It takes a minute sometimes if you need to use that portal. It's completely optional portal. You could just go to a space station or another base and use their portal. Uh, but I digress. The next thing we did is build these cultivation chambers. Like I said, these all will be giving carbon when you harvest them. So if you build about 10 of them around your already set up little mini thing here, they're accessible on option, but they're not main towards the front. I like to put them around everything that I'm going to be accessing right away so that I can run in there, access it, and leave. Also, right here, like I said, get relic this used at a monolith will locate a portal also gamma weed and all sorts of other plants are sold there after this uh, i think we would enter into our spaceship where we would be heading to the space station upon arrival to the space station we would do just a little bit of shopping and then we up through another portal uh, which would take us to the base and like i said i fixed this this was a little bit of a bug we had with this uh, this was actually causing us to spawn inside the cubes. What we did to fix this was just using a wood floor underneath the portal would cause it to where we put landed on the wood floor. We did kind of change the design a little bit, but that is okay. Also, as I said earlier, when you warp back to your freighter every single time, these rooms will be harvestable. My one gripe is the planter in the center gets annoying and is unnecessary and I don't even like it. I just love the fact that I get so much free carbon from my freighter. It's a carbon farm and not a nip nip farm. But we may grow some nip nip here in the future once we unlock the ability to do that. I think we're gonna unlock the agriculture room for the freighter instead uh, on this expedition instead of doing the base builder way where we unlock the terminal with the, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, so after this, we would be heading to the freighter mission where I'm going to be showing you the exact rewards for completing this. Like I said, after you enter this freighter and you tell them I want my rewards instead, what you will need to do, also you can harvest the carbon here. I did mention this earlier, but I will touch this again. You can harvest the carbon inside of the freighter that we are here. 
and this is the mission freighter where you can either claim the freighter or you can claim the rewards instead go ahead and check the class of the freighter i actually think this one was a c class freighter guys maybe it was an a class i'm not for sure we'll go ahead and check now inspect freighter c class guys definitely don't want it but we do want the rewards cargo freighter geg standing increased and nanites received this is also a standing farm you will be able to max out your geg standing doing this while getting cargo bulkhead upgrades and farming for the chance of an s class freighter pretty cool guys so as you can see here we just stick our magnetized ferrite in our personal refiner and we pull out about a thousand of it at a time so that we can build the floors fast and then also pull more out build more floors pull more out build more floors rinse and repeat you get the process guys this would allow it to just continuously smell only requiring fuel to be added now and again we then went around part of it and started doing this wooden outline but then it wasn't lined up all the way and started glitching to the floor so we just ignored it and filled in the bottom a little bit more making sure that no one would be spawning inside of our floor and be stuck in there until they found their ship and it was just it was weird and it was interesting your ship's still gonna spawn in the center of the portal i'm sorry i don't have landing pads unlocked yet if i had landing pads unlocked we would be using landing pads but unfortunately i do not currently have those but this will be all guys go ahead and leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it and keep it peace mode i am out see you